guys, welcome back. So we are at the cat scale. We are curious to know after packing and loading everything what we come in for weight wise. So we're gonna jump on the scale and I'll give you the numbers and I'll pull up the numbers for the manufacturer ratings and whatnot. So we're just waiting um, for the truckers to get in their spots and we'll be on that cat scale shortly. I just picked up our rating sheet there we are total and I'll get this all cleaned up and I'll get all those numbers for you guys all right guys so we got off the scale and the gross weight of everything combined came in at 23,700 pounds so the trailer alone was 3,620 pounds, leaving the remaining amount, let's see. So that's the trailer without the tongue weight. Okay. So that puts us at 20,080 pounds. Guys, the gross, uh, let's see, the manufacturer's gross combined vehicle rating, let's see. Okay, so the gross combined weight rating with everything is 40,000 pounds for this setup. This is an SB34 Thor Magnitude. But the gross vehicle weight rating is 19,500. So the data is showing that we weighed in at 20,080 pounds. That's with all the water filled. We even fueled up our tanks, our fuel tanks prior to jumping on the scale as well. So. It's saying that, and we were also sitting in the car with diesel, so it's saying that we are overweight with our gross vehicle rating of 580 pounds. That means somebody's got to go. <laughs> or we just need to take some stuff out. Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> but then there also, we got to maybe move some of the tongue weight of the trailer. That might affect it too. Yeah, so also, they also broke down the weighting by the, the steer axle. And that came in at 5,960 pounds. And then the drive axle for the rig was 14,120 pounds. So, yeah, I mean, technically it's telling us, uh, so technically it's telling us our gross vehicle rating were overweight by 580. Yes. Okay. So, in theory, what I think we have to do now is basically weigh the ring without the trailer hooked up so that way there's no tongue weight on it and then there from there we can play with the tongue weight of the trailer because right now i have everything moved to the front of the tongue and i believe it's more than more than uh, 20 percent of the t uh, of the recommended tongue weight so what we're going to do is go we're going to go maybe measure it again and with the trailer off and then there, from there we can see how much the trailer weighs itself do the math of 20 percent of that and then there we'll uh, figure out the tongue weight from there all right well it, so if you guys are curious we did go to a cat scale it, uh, we went to the hesperia location so it's on the route to barstow that's where we're headed this weekend and there's there's a ton more out there so the total fee we paid just to weigh our setup was 1250 so if we go back then we would pay another 1250 to at least to get an idea of what everything's weighing at it's a really good idea just to know because i mean i didn't realize that technically we're over 580 but so let's see let's do what he recommended and then see where we go from there after our trip i mean we will probably i mean weight would be added for using the water and the black tanks is going to get filled up right 
No, but it's still the same water that we carried. So. Yeah, but there's more waste now. Human waste. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get it all sorted out and we'll see if it changes the numbers. And But yeah, it's, it's a good idea to know what your rating is at. Always, you know, check all your vehicle ratings and what you're towing. That's the reason why we got a Super C is for towing because we're not towing that much. We came in at uh, the trailer and the Can-Am was 3,620 pounds. No, we're not towing that much, but we got this for our, you know, for anything that we plan to tow in the future because we don't know what... We want a stacker. <laughs> <laughs> That's in his head. <laughs> but well, you got to dream it first to make it happen, right? <laughs> but, but again, if you guys have been following along, we also do tow a boat too. So by the time lake season comes around, we definitely do want to get that back on the scale. And guys, hey, thanks for joining us this weekend. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're Thank you. We're going to be headed back to, you know, uh, hit up Barstow again just to tweak out some more stuff on the Can-Am. We do have some things that we need to adjust uh, wheel bearings. So oh, well, we got to grease that. That'll maybe. be in another video. But, but, yeah, guys, thanks for following us along. We will get back to our weekend activities. And... We will try to get back onto the scale and do what Kevin recommended, so stay tuned. All right, so I guess we are calling it a weekend. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so we're gonna get back home, fix her up, and get, you know, try to get her back out. This is just our second trip and things like this, stuff like this happens. So we, we're gonna pack up and head out in the morning and we're gonna get back on that scale, guys. guys so as we mentioned we are going headed back to the cat scale before we head home and we're gonna try out what Kevin suggested was to take um, the tongue weight off so we're gonna get onto the scale unhitch and we're gonna see if it makes a difference so we'll be there in the next five miles and we'll get you guys the new numbers and we'll compare what we did uh, weighing first time and then the second time with the tongue weight off. Take the next right onto US 395 North, then turn right onto Three Flags Road. Alright, so I'm approaching the scale. If you can tell, there's these different panels that measures different sections. So that's where we're going to take the tongue weight off. So you can see these panels. They're all divided into sections. And we're going to take the tongue weight off. We'll get it reweighed. Alright, so... If you guys remember, the backup camera does have a mic. I just need to tell him when that hits the yellow over here. Stop. Good.
So Kevin's gonna get it unhitched and we'll both hop back in because we waited with both of us in there. So we'll, I'll get hopped back in first. Hey Diesel. All right. Okay guys, reway time. So I did download the app. Or you're supposed to download Screen the app. Okay, so I have the app up. Just waiting for it to obtain the GPS lock. We're at 341. There should be a 341 number up there. We're going to confirm it. And again, it's 12.50. See, these were the previous numbers. It did change. So now your trailer is higher. Yeah. The trailer is 4,220. Yeah, so we have too much tongue weight. Okay, so we would need to adjust that or something. So, so the reason why we decided to do uh, the trailer separate with the rig is so that that way I could find out the exact weight of the trailer and ideally you would want 20% of the tongue weight of the gross weight of the whole complete trailer. So what we're going to do now that we know it's 4220, we're going to do the math on that and then later I'm going to get a scale for the trailer at home and we're gonna mess with the can-am moving it back so what we're gonna have to do is move everything back so that way the tongue weight is less and so now now looking at this we're gonna be within spec yeah so, so we're not overweight on the gross vehicle weighting then so we're good on the inside so we're yes. good we don't have to get rid of anybody so then also <laughs> too um, we did use uh, I would say a little less than a quarter tank so a quarter tank of so we'll probably use 20 gallons. So 20 gallons times eight, it's uh, for liquid, it's eight pounds per gallon. So that's gonna come out to about 160 pounds, which is not much at all. Okay, so we're gonna get her hitched back up and uh, we're gonna head out. Guys, thanks for tuning in as always. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put, I'll put up all the numbers at the ending of the video and show you guys the comparison of the first way, the second way, and then the manufacturer ratings and then the Can-Am weight and the trailer weight, that's just something that we're going to have to work, uh, continue to work on. Again, thanks for tuning in as always every weekend with us guys. We appreciate it so much. We will see you guys next week.